Today, I'm reacting to Cristiano Ronaldo's ridiculous header against Sampdoria when he played for Juventus. Then, I'm going to recreate it as a drawing, just like I did with Zidane last week. So, let's get to it. This goal is a goal that only a freak could score. When you think of a wonder goal, you don't think of a header. There's only a few headers in history where you think, wow, that was an elite goal. To me, it defies logic. I genuinely believe that if he wanted to be a basketball player, he would have been. The, the height that he gets on the jump... When you see it in normal speed, it seems amazing. But when you see it in the slow motion replay, it seems like he's walking on air. It almost seems like he's literally standing on the air to be able to get up that high to head the ball. There's so many impressive things about this goal, but for me, it's purely the athleticism. An amazing goal. If you haven't seen it, we're about to watch it. What's worth paying attention to is the look on the defender's face when he sees Cristiano come over the top of him. So we'll watch the goal and you'll see what I mean. So ball gets played forward, crossed over, no one near it, back post and Cristiano Ronaldo rises. Not only does he rise, but he finishes it in, in the side netting on the opposite post. When we see it in slow motion, you're going to see how freakish in nature this goal was. It's outrageous. Let's watch it again in slow motion. What I want to just pay attention to, I'm just going to pause it here. The ball isn't whipped in perfectly to Cristiano's head for him to just jump up and head in the goal. That That's not what happens in this goal. The ball's whipped in and it's overhit. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo's seen it from a distance. He knows he's got so much work to do to be able to put it in the net. And it's going out of play. It's almost at the byline when he heads it. Take a look at this in slow motion. Comes over and pause. Look where he is there he almost jumps too early as well so he's probably like 12 feet in the air he's probably jumped twice the size of of himself his head must be above the crossbar it must be it's like when you see those slam dunks you see like the the head on line with the rim it's the same here his, his head is on line or higher than the crossbar he's moving away towards the byline the ball's moving away towards the byline he's got a defender underneath him and it's 12 13 foot in the air most players just watch that go out of play just like and no one would have blamed them for letting the ball just fly over and go out of play most players would do that cristiano ronaldo doesn't do that he jumps heads the ball but he jumps too early so when he heads the ball he's he sort of arch back like this he still manages to get his head on it and then guide it into the far corner so the finish the athleticism the spatial awareness for me, Cristiano is the best header of a football of all time. No no one can get their head on a ball like Cristiano can. And I'm not even his biggest fan, but I, I can admit that there is no one in world football who can head a ball like this man. The finish is actually top corner. The, the finish isn't like just headed towards goal. He's finished it in a top in. <laughs> that makes it even better. Look at it from the angle from behind the goal. Look how high he is on this poor shot. His hip is the same height as the defender's head. He's like an X-Man. If he was in the X-Men, there'd be people saying that he wasn't a normal person. There'd be people saying he's got magic powers. Like, I don't know how he jumps that high. That is outrageous. And look at this for finish. Bang. He almost snaps his knee on the way back down as well. He, like, lands funny on it. So I don't know how he doesn't tear his ligaments there. He's just a machine. He's the Robocop of football. Purely a goal-scoring machine. I've never seen nothing like it. Absolutely incredible. This is the super slow motion version. So his eyes don't leave the ball. Look how high he gets. His head comes out of shot. How long is he in that air for? It's just stupid. Like, look at the hand time that he gets. So he leaves the floor now. His knees are higher than the defender's head. Look how long he is suspended in the air for. And the ball almost glances the bar, almost glances the bar and goes in the top corner. Again, I don't really know what to say. I don't really know what to say about that goal. Is that one of the best headers of all time? Is it the best header of all time? Off the top of my head, I can't think of any headers that are really as standouts as that. It, it's almost impossible. He scored an impossible goal there. Most players couldn't even catch that ball. He's got his head on it and put it in the top bin. He's always been a freak of nature when it comes to his abilities. The, the argument between him and Messi always comes to his athleticism, but Messi doesn't need it. Messi's been involved in more goals. He's had more assists. 
Ronaldo can't assist to save his life, to be fair. He can do this. He can jump like one of the fucking monsters of Space Jam, but he can't assist. So that's where Messi beats him. But Messi couldn't even score this goal. I know Messi scored that header in the Champions League final against United, but in terms of being able to do that, me Messi Messi couldn't have done that, what, what he's just done. But that's a goal that no one else can score, and that's why these, these players are who they are because they score goals and they do things on football pitches that other players just simply couldn't even dream about. So, wonderful goal, wonderful header. Despite not being as big as fan that, that deserves a round of applause. What I'm going to do, I'm going to recreate this as a drawing and I'm going to make it available for you to download as a foam wallpaper. Just hit the comments below and you'll be able to see my website, which is callionline.uk and you can download all of my artwork for free. So let's get to it. Have a boss day.